Hello and welcome to this packed course, Mastering Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Volume 1. This course is the starting point for current or budding Unreal Engine developers looking to get their feet wet developing games or applications in Unreal Engine 4 using C++. My name is Paul Movier. I'm currently a freelance consultant with a keen interest in virtual reality and Unreal Engine 4. My most recent work is that of DreamDesk VR, a virtual reality desktop application built in Unreal Engine 4, which differentiates itself from the competition by allowing users to display individual windows and applications within VR. In my spare time, I also author video tutorials on various aspects in Unreal Engine 4, usually using C++. The topics I tend to cover are those I haven't seen covered adequately elsewhere. Foremost among these tutorials, you can find topics such as using Leap Motion in VR with Unreal Engine and integrating GameSparks within Unreal Engine using C++. Previous to when I jumped headfirst into Unreal Engine, I was building containerized web application deployment stacks built on Docker, building mobile applications and web applications. I've also always had my own little game development projects running on the side as well. I find that my unique blend of skills helps me build tutorials and course materials designed for both experienced and new developers. As I strive to teach in a fashion which will help developers of any background follow along and thrive. With that in mind, this course is an in-depth guide to getting started building Unreal Engine applications using C++. I'll be presenting the student with detailed theory as well as provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to utilize all the theory that I present. My goal with this course is to never present you with a line of code without explaining why you're using it or what that line of code does. By the end of this course, you'll have a solid understanding of Unreal Engine's key elements as well as have the foundations to understand and expand upon the knowledge gained within this course. You'll also have all the knowledge you need to implement various game mechanics and build small game prototypes. As for prerequisites, being that this course is intended to be heavy on programming, the student should be familiar with basic programming theory such as variables, control structures, and object-oriented programming. I also strongly encourage that students come into this course having at least a base level of knowledge in navigating the Unreal Editor and doing basic tasks in its blueprinting system, as these topics will not be covered in detail within this course. This being said, the course is designed in such a fashion that anyone willing to learn will be able to gain the knowledge present within. If you don't have the prerequisite knowledge mentioned previously, you will be able to follow along, though you may need to slow down the lessons a bit and do some research outside of the material presented. We'll be going over many topics throughout this course. We'll touch on various online resources for acquiring both assets and help should you get stumped by the engine. Building games is not a one-person job, and knowing where to acquire help to fill in any gaps in skill or knowledge is essential for ensuring your projects move forward at a good pace. We'll then go into the various forms of source control supported by Unreal Engine 4 to enable us to work in teams and to keep our data safe. We'll take a deep dive into Unreal Engine theory and learn many of the most common functions and data types used within Unreal Engine 4's C++ API. This is to provide you with an understanding of why we use specific lines of code. We'll take a tour around Unreal Engine 4's physics engine and discuss how to enable and modify physics properties on objects. This is crucial in creating varied and dynamic environments and behaviors within our games. We'll walk through the process of importing assets and building levels to give our world some visual flair. Variety is key when it comes to game design, and knowing how to bring in various assets will be essential to providing that variety. We'll then bring our world to life by learning about the animation system and how to use Unreal Editor's animation tools to their full extent. Without animation, the world is dull and lifeless. Finally, We'll also look at basic engine game flow as it pertains to Unreal Engine. Understanding when things happen is key to knowing where to put the objects and code you want to use. 
This course is carefully designed to ease students into getting into the dirty work of creating games and applications in Unreal Engine with as little pain as possible. Unreal Engine is a beast of many legs, and getting your feet wet into the nitty-gritty of C++ programming within it can be an intimidating prospect for many budding developers. We'll be steadily progressing along our journey together in four simple steps. Step 1 is all about setting yourself up for success by knowing where to look for help, setting up your project correctly, and connecting everything to source control. Getting the base of your project set up correctly can save hours of pain building applications in Unreal Engine as the base you build upon must be strong. Step 2 is where we dive headfirst into engine theory. We present you with a core understanding of navigating the C++ API and continue on into the important sections of said API. This is the core knowledge set any Unreal developer needs to build properly structured code. We also guide you through the process of debugging your applications should anything go wrong. Unreal Engine is big and can be complicated. Knowing how to solve any problems you run into is crucial to applying all the knowledge presented in these lessons. Step 3 is where we dive into Unreal Engine's physics engine with worked examples. Understanding how to utilize and modify the various aspects of the physics engine is key to ensuring your world's behaviors are always varied and interesting. We provide step-by-step -step code examples for every concept touched on here to ensure the knowledge really does stick. Step 4 is where we dive into the real meat of building an application in Unreal Engine. With the core concepts presented in the previous three steps, we move on to applying them with the start to finish small game demo in the form of instructions detailing and explaining every step along the way. It's encouraged for you to take the small game demo we build further once the lesson concludes to solidify your understanding of the knowledge presented and to learn the ins and outs of picking up new concepts on your own, as no single course or lesson will cover everything you'll need to know throughout your career in Unreal Engine. Taken together, these four steps will give you a solid foundation upon which to build your great game ideas. So before we dive right in, it's worth bearing in mind that you'll get the most value out of this course by pacing yourself appropriately. In particular, you should set aside the time to tinker with and expand upon the examples presented in this course. The best method to learning programming is to program. And there's no easier way to start than modifying code you'll already understand to its fullest. I hope you enjoy this packed course, and with the basics out of the way, we can jump right in and get started with our first lessons.